Hey, looks like we're live. How's everybody doing? And let's get everything pulled up. It is a Saturday morning. April 2nd, here in uh, 2022. And I've got a few things I want to do today. Oh. Looks like we are good to go. All right. So I've got a few things I want to get done this morning um, before I get out and about and out in the garage and outside. One of them is I need to make some hangers. I put these little bitty hangers on here and I'm not really liking those. Uh, you can only hang it one way. I mean, like this one. I want it to go this direction, but then again, maybe you want it to go to this direction. And maybe you want this one week and you want this one the next week. So I seen something that I liked and I think I can make it with some materials that I have here. And we are going to do that. Got a piece of just ordinary flashing. And uh, we're going to squeeze her down and flatten it out because I want a one inch section of this flashing. With this bend in here, it should be pretty solid. But we got a nice little crimp here now. That's about an inch. That's about what I'm looking for. Actually, let's see what it is. We got one person joined me this morning. Hello, how are you doing? It looks like it's a little less than an inch, so we're going to call it three quarters just to make it uniform all the way through. Put a little mark there. Come down here. Like I said, this is just a piece of flashing for like your roof. But around here, I used whatever I got. And this is what I happen to have. We're going to use this as a straight edge. So I have a cut line. <laughs> like I said, use what you got. I'm not going to put these on the table because there's glass underneath that. Now I got a fancy pair of tin snips here. So normally your tin snips would come straight out and when you're cutting, it gouge your hands. Well, with these, you can cut and it goes underneath or as I am going to use them at the moment. Oh, also when you're cutting tin, you don't go all the way down on your cuts because you'll get sharp lines. See, there's no sharp edges. Now, if I just come through and snip it all the way through and then take another bite and another bite, that leaves gouges and nicks. We don't want those. Hey, Tim, how are we doing today? Come to join me as I uh, make a mess in the table and try to solve some problems. But there's a little wood piece on the back of this. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm trying to make a hanger. I don't like these little bitty hangers. That way, 
I could put this painting either direction. But I'm going to guess this is probably a half inch by one inch. Uh, looks like it's an inch and an eighth by a half inch. All I'm wanting to do is make a U, so I'm going to come three quarters of an inch and a half inch. So what is that, an inch and a quarter? We'll go uh, inch and a quarter. And three quarters. When you're bending sheet metal, you want to go to your farthest one out and then come back and then bend again. Um, cause sometimes you can't reach from the far end. That looks pretty even to me. So we're going to bend it right there. Come back into my other line. Eyeball it. Just, that's all I need to do. Make our other bend and made a little J. So I guess I'm going to come back in a little bit, drill a hole through this. You know what? I think I need to bend this over to make this sturdier. Hello, Dawn. How we doing? Um, right now, I'm trying to make a clip for this painting. Little clip. I want to come through, and I want to drill a hole through this so I could attach this to the wall. And now I should be able to just slide that through, and it'll hang my painting. It literally just slides between the canvas and the wood. That way, if I want my painting that way one day, pull it out, slide it back up there, and I can hang it that way the next day. All right, one problem solved. And out of that one piece of flashing, I can make quite a bit, <laughs> quite a few of those. Tim, Don, what's your guys' plans for the day? I'm going to work out in the garden a little bit until it rains after I get all this stuff that's got to sit for days taken care of. Laundry, huh? I did uh, three loads of laundry yesterday and a load of dishes. So I got most of that taken care of. Um, I got, I got to burn my trash yet today, but I don't do that until dark. That way, if uh, I got any embers that float off, I know where they go. Um, I got a wood line all around the house, basically. All right. Um, what was it? Three weeks ago, I did a painting on live. Well, that is it. Uh, it took about, I don't know, it takes about two weeks for the, ooh, blueberry dump, <laughs> blueberry dump cake. I'd probably eat all the blueberries before it even made it into the cake is my problem. But I sprayed this, this uh, painting with a UV spray. 
And I found an old picture frame. Whoa, about lost the glass. So I'm thinking this needs to go in this frame today. What you guys think? Tim, you got a very long drive to town. It takes me about 15 minutes to get to town. Well, it looks like it's going to fit. But now how do you secure it in there? Um, staple gun? Brad nails? All the paint. I don't know if you guys can see that. But all the paint that went on this board made it draw up. Um, you know what? I got a staple gun. Let's try a staple gun. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Just a good old ordinary staple gun. I don't know why I'm holding my breath while I'm doing this. Anybody else do stupid stuff like that? I know at one point in time I had to hold my tongue just right to get things done. So I just learned when putting these staples in, if I put them in just flush, they go in too far, so I kind of kind of put them at an angle. Misfire. We'll just call that good. Hey, Homestead, uh, Homestead Family Reclaim, Mike, how we doing? Um, there, yeah. I think it needs to go like that though. Oh, it's too shiny. How about that? Does that work for you guys? That is literally the painting I did on a live a few weeks ago. Or should it go like this? Uh, lights. I guess that's the sweet spot. <clears throat> All right. Glad you're doing good. Um, yeah, I did that picture, what, three weeks ago, I think? Excuse me. <clears throat> Still have a tickle in the back of my throat. Um, all righty.
So we got five people in here. I appreciate you all uh, spending your morning with me. But uh, as you can see in front of me here, we have a, a big white canvas. A while back ago, I went to a resale shop uh, and they had basically everything in a certain color was a dollar. And there was a bunch of these pictures. So that picture frame that you just seen, it had another picture in it, um, which I have no use for, but the frame was worth a dollar to me. And you see why. Well, we got another canvas here. And this is actually a pretty good canvas. It's nice and tight. Uh, it had a dark picture on it. So I used a Pittsburgh Menards primer over the top of it. Didn't dilute it or anything. Just straight primer. This has two coats on it because it was like a, a textured painting. I could still see a little bit of the texture on there. But. The primer took care of all of it. I primered um, another one over there that we'll probably use next week. Uh, I'm going to try to do a painting every Saturday morning if you guys are interested. But next week, I got another project. I primered that one. And I was goofing off. And I found a piece of scrap wood. It was already cut, this, this dimension. So I... Uh, primered the whole thing and I'm going to try to paint on it. Why? Just because. I get up whenever. Um, I haven't been able to sleep all that good for a while now, so... I'm up at two o'clock in the morning sometimes. Um, I never sleep past eight. But like this morning, I was up at three. Uh, I don't know why. Old age, had to pee, just couldn't go back to sleep. My guess. Um, so... Last week, I don't. we did a flip cup on those records. So basically, we put all of our paints in a cup, and we flipped it over. Um, I did not show you guys the, the light cover switches in the live, but I did them a little later. And I got those done and made a painting out, out of the mess that was after that. Well, we're going to try to use this today. What do you think of that? Excuse me. I'll be right back. <clears throat> sorry about that. Really sorry about that. Yep, there's two of us from Illinois in here. It's just one of you is a northerner. <laughs> um, all right, so how are we going to do this? First, we have uh, my Pittsburgh paint. It's regular latex indoor paint. Uh, this is as black as they could make it. I mixed it with Floetrol and water. Uh, you know what? I don't have my torch up here. So I think we're going to have to use the noisy heat gun. I have white. It's mixed up the same way. Bradley, how we doing? How's things down in Australia? Um, yeah. We're going to go with the yellow, blue, and purple. I'm liking these two colors so much. Next time, I'm going to get them in this size. 
here trying to make a mess of bread. Uh, let's start with yellow. Oh, Floetrol. Yes, Floetrol. This stuff. I ran it through a strainer so I didn't get no clumps. It's raining there, Tim. It's been raining here all week. My pond is the fullest I've seen it in years. Uh, <laughs> there's usually a stick in the middle of my pond. I got some visiting ducks. They like to hang out on it. Well, it's underwater at the moment. The river's out, so I only have one way to get to my parents' house. It's uh, I gotta actually go into Effingham and then go around. This is a pretty big canvas. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of paint. Ooh, that was loud. There's the blob that I put in to start with. We're gonna go to approximately two to one mixture. Looks like two to one to me. Make sure I get this lid on. Start taking care of the messes early because I got a nice shirt on and I got a nice hat. And we're going to use this really nice cup and just put a dab of water in there. Uh, why can't you ride it in the rain? Does it got a electrical issues? That's really, really runny at the moment, ain't it? Look at that yellow coming through. Um... Really thick yet. Okay. So what do you guys think of my little painting things that I've been doing here lately? You like this? I was thinking about trying to make a little series out of it. I need that little mixer thing. <laughs> Save my wrist. But I'm trying to get this, this paint thinned down enough. I'm glad you like them. Uh, get this paint thinned down enough that it runs. Because, you know what? I forgot my hose, too. I'm going to have to find a straw. No, I see it. I see it. I see it. I just missed the torch. It's in the basement with my resin. I've got a, I'm building a shampoo bowl. Well, not the bowl, but a, a countertop and cabinet to hold a shampoo bowl. And I've got two coats of epoxy on that old barn wood. It's got a bunch of cracks and stuff that I'm trying to, seal up before I do the flood coat or encapsulate it or I don't know exactly what the words are called. But I have to pop all the bubbles in the epoxy. All right, we're actually pretty good here. Um, I want it to run off my stick pretty good, but when it hits, this the paint down at the bottom I don't want it to rise up I just want it to sink right back down in there but I don't want it to splatter like it's water if that makes sense I hope it does put yellow out there Try to make about the same amount for the blue. Uh, 
Oh, here's my color choices. A medium yellow. It's a master's touch. Ultramarine. That's how much of that I put in there. And violet. Set that up there. Maybe you can see a little better. I feel like I'm trying to hide everything from you. Once again, trying to keep about a two to one ratio. I like that color too. Um, Something else that I've noticed with it, when I mix it with uh, that other white paint that I have, it mixes really good, and you get a really cool uh, blue besides the normal blue. And this does help make a really cool-looking green, too. All right, so there's the original blue on the side and then the mixed blue after you add the flow troll. Now, some people don't add flow troll at all because it changes the color of their paint. They'll mix it with strictly water. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but it might be something I'll do in the future. I got a sink strainer right over there. I've done, I've played with it a little bit. Uh, I, I just still pretty new to this. So everything's a learning process. And I'm not really one that could read books and watch people and do things. I have to hands on, just do it. Um, so I have been looking on Facebook for some furniture and then I'm also, I've got enough wood stuff out here and wood tools. I'm thinking about making my own and I also ran across something that was pretty interesting that I think I want to do one of these flood pour paintings on. Um, our house is, I got gray walls. At one time, point in time, we had a blue jean denim, denim couch, a fluorescent green chair and a red chair. Um, above our doors, we have some silk screen that was painted. Uh, I think it's one foot by two foot wide, almost two foot at least, silk screens. It's got some pretty cool stuff painted on them. But whenever, let's say you're in the bathroom and the, the vents above the door, like the old farmhouse vents, um, are silk screens instead of windows. But when the door's closed and the light's on in there, the light shines through the silk screen it's pretty cool looking. Um, we've got a lampshade that's been painted. I've got several big paintings, like uh, I got one of a face in there. I, I was told who it was supposed to be, but I don't remember. Um, it looks like it's probably 36 by 48. I've got a couple other ones. Jessica, hello, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for all the uh, kind words and sharing my videos out. It's helped a lot. But there's the second color. It's pretty much the same consistency. I am not putting any metal or metallic flake in it this week. Um, 
I'm staying clean so far. We're doing good. We're doing good. Just a little bit more. There we go. <clears throat> so, Don, what kind of paints are you? Ooh, almost put white paint in there. What kind of paints are you using? Um, as far as brands, uh, Master's Touch or do you prefer something else? I'm doing great today, Jessica. I've been up since about three-ish for some reason. Um, I've made some things. I've solved a problem. I've put a painting in. Whatever's on sale. I like that answer. Um, I've put a painting in a frame that I made a couple of weeks ago. And I've made some little hooks, which is going to be a problem solver. I mean, look at the color purple there. That is just, I love that color. Why are you nervous today? It's always good to be excited. Uh, good to be excited, but why nervous? Uh, I I really like the way this blue is going to mix with the white too. Um, so I'm thinking on this canvas, it's a two foot by two foot. I have a lot of white paint, not so much black paint. I'm going to come and do something weird, wave type thing, and keep most of it white and just a little bit black. And we're going to funnel pour. One thing I love about the funnel pours is the colors afterwards. Looks like I got a, a few second delay from what I'm talking to what I'm seeing on here. I'm hoping my picture's all nice and good and there's no blurry spots. Well, good, Jessica. There's no reason to be nervous. Um, just do it. You're on here all the time. You're happy. <laughs> Just be you. You'll be fine. Plus, look at all the good you do for your community. I can sell decorative funnels. You know, I did see a short, a TikTok or something like that. They were using a, uh, a pan. Uh, someone sent it to me. Was it you? But it was a uh, dustpan. They filled it full of paint and then they poured it on their thing. Um, uh, this ain't a box. This is a canvas. I have painted it white. I'm reusing it. It came from the uh, resale shop for a dollar because I bet you if I'd buy this canvas by itself, it was probably $14, $15. And you can't afford that. So 
Smile while you still have teeth. <laughs> All right. That one's looking good. We'll restir them all before we get started. <sighs> um, like I said, black and white is just regular latex paint. Yes, dentures count. They're still yours. You bought them. Use them. I've already went through a pot of coffee. This is um, probably about right here. This is the last of my first pot. When we're done here, I'll probably make another pot. And it'll last me till 1, 2 o'clock. Energy drink, are those really good for you? There ain't vodka in it, is there? So probably 10 years ago, 15 years ago, maybe. I used to do that MMA fighting stuff for training because I got fat and that's how I decided to lose weight. <laughs> I used to drink those rock stars. Um, there was one that tasted like bubble gum. I remember it was blue, but that was, like I said, 10, 15 years ago. Okay, you're not being one of the college students and doing vodka and energy drinks. That's good. Now I'm all slimy from the flow troll. Let's um, figure out what I did with my wet wipes. Jessica, good luck. Yep, you got to feed the kids. I appreciate you stopping in. And you'll be fine on your auction. All right, got two wet wipes. I'll probably need more than that, but we'll start there. Hey, Peter, how we doing? Oh, today's adventures. I am repurposing a canvas that I bought at a resale shop that was on sale. We're going to use this paint, this funnel to paint this. Um, I used a piece of roofing flashing to make a little hook for paintings because, for instance, this one, you're going to want to hang this way. And I put one of these little, little bitty hooks. I hate these things. They're so hard to use. So... With those, you can only hang it one direction. I decided I need something. I could just drill a hole in here, tack this to the wall, and it just slides between the canvas and the wood frame. And then, so one day I want it to look like that. And then the next day, I want it to hang like that. All I got to do is it literally just slides between the frame there. And I painted this thing a few weeks ago. I put it in this frame earlier, used the staple gun, stapled it in. I think it needs to sit like that. Oh, where's the glare? Get the glare off of it. Yeah, I think it needs to sit like that. So if you're just now joining in, that's what you missed.
Uh, I think I just started picking this up about three months ago. Uh, I'm one of those people. If I see something that interests me, I just try it. I mean, just get up off your butt and do something, even if it's wrong. I've got a sticker that I made of that. Um, I mean, you don't know if you could do it or if you're going to like it if you don't try it. It's like spinach. I didn't know that I liked it since I was a kid until I tried it on a sandwich. Now I actually like raw spinach, just not cooked. <clears throat> all right. So I got all the stuff I want to keep safe out of the way. Um... Yeah, I know it's late for you guys over there. Uh, Down Under Fellow was here just a little bit ago. I don't know if he's still here or not. Um, so my containers are latex paint. Just good old Pittsburgh indoor primer latex 100% paint. Um, I did a satin finish for some reason. If you want glossy, go with glossy. Uh, that's probably what I want to get next time because I'm starting to think all this stuff looks better with the shiny stuff. Like the putting the acrylic over it compared to spraying it with an acrylic. Um, there's, I mean, they're both shiny, but I, I like this one a lot better. That two-part epoxy, it's expensive, but it does a better job. I mean, by far, it does a way better job. It was born in Pittsburgh, huh? I was born and raised in Effingham, and then I moved. Not too far, but I moved. Oh, cool. You're still here. Cool, cool. Well, I appreciate you giving me your time. I'll probably be on here for a little bit. Um, I've done all my paint mixing. The three colors besides black and white. All Masters Touch because it's easy mixing. I guess let's get started. Um, I got more white than I do black. I think my phone will be safe here and I can still see. Let's just got to get that big chunk out of the way here in a second. You know what? I, I think that blow that that heat gun is going to be too much. So I am going to leave you guys for a second. And run downstairs and get my torch. But first, this still needs more white. I need to go. Look at all that. So beforehand, I did make sure my table is level. So this should, and this is a really tight canvas. So this should level out pretty nicely. Um, 30 seconds, 45, 22, I'll be right back.
All right, now I'm out of breath. So I went and got my torch. This is just a little five or six dollar torch from Dollar General. Runs on butane, just cheap old butane. Pop some of these bubbles. Watch, now it won't work. There we go. Woo! You guys see that? All right, where are we at? Yep, let the mess begin. I, I agree with some of the most creative patterns. Yes, for sure. I got a Bob Ross t-shirt that does say no happy little accidents. Um, yeah, your dog wants to see this too. Mine just happens to be in there sleeping. Tina, hello. Good morning. Thanks for stopping in. Did you win any of the fishing stuff last night on that live? Um, you like fire, did you? Zombie prepper, hey, how we doing? All right, so we need to spread this paint out. Oh, I think this will work. We need to push it out here to the edges. So one thing about these uh, rubber spatulas from the dollar store is your paints and your resins all peel off of it pretty good. So clean up, you just let it dry and you crinkle it and the majority of it comes off. Is that about where we want everything you think? You won stickers, cool. The fillet knife would have been nice for sure. I do not have an electric fillet knife. All right, push the black out to the edges. Oh, we don't want you to run over yet. Uh, actually with this painting, I'm not going to push anything over the edges. I'm going to paint the edges completely black. Unless something cool comes out of it. <laughs> then I'll change my mind, of course. You want something from Simple Life Reclaimed? Um, I tell you what, I use them same beanie hats. Uh, I've used the almost exact same one forever. I got, I think they were $2 a piece probably 15 years ago. Um, but you had to buy like 10 of them. Army surplus, of course. You guys think that's enough paint? Should we add more? How about we add more? All right, 
put this down here so I don't have a tendency to grab it again. Just a little bit more black right here. What colors am I using? Well, the black and the white is latex paint. We have a, a yellow, a purple, and a blue. They're all mixed with water and Floetrol. I try to mix everything 50-50. Here's the blue. And I want it pretty runny. The purple. And the yellow. Actually, you know what? I do need some white. We are going to need white. Uh, that is a cool blue. I mean, those that blue and the purple, I've used a lot of it. We're going to make this white just a little bit more runny. I think, I think. No, that's pretty good. Consistency. All right, I'm right-handed, so we're going to work from right to left, which I'm sure is the opposite for you guys. Um... I hope this is enough paint for what I'm wanting to do. I guess let's just get with it, right? Nothing to do it or nothing to it but to do it. Uh, all right. I'm getting nervous. I don't want to screw this up, especially live. Don't want to knock the paint over, make the wife mad. What color should we start with? The blue? A little bit of the white. Oh, it's leaking. Some of the purple. And the yellow, let's move it down just a little bit. Let's go back uh, to the blue. To the white. To the purple. And the yellow. What was the other color? Blue again. See you, zombie. Oh, we're leaking again. Let's move. I can't keep my phone flat.
and I forgot what color pattern I was going in. Now I'm just throwing stuff in there. Whoa, about dropped it. I see Castle Hives just pop in. How we doing? I'm here making a mess. What you guys think? I think I've made it through all my colors. So what you all think this is going to turn out like? Looks like a mess to me. Something right here I think I need to get out. All right. Well, let's torch it. Pop any and all bubbles. I've got a straw, and I'm going to try to spread the paint out in different directions. And we better move this nice cup so I don't get paint all over it. Actually, let's let this meld together real quick. Um, you think it looks great? Just wait. Well, that's making me lightheaded. So far, so good. I need to catch my breath.
Make sure I'm not getting too lightheaded. I don't want to fall in my painting. I'm sitting to have my coffee, Tina. We'll be here when you get back. I think I need an air compressor for this. As long as I don't damage the canvas or the frame, it'd be funny if I fell, huh? I am lightheaded, that's for sure. No, I have not done the chain pulls yet. Um, I have found some chain. I have had that idea. There was uh, one of them's a flower I wanted to try to do. That would be a new meaning for face paint, wouldn't it? We're going to try to stretch everything that way. I don't want to lose a lot of this. So I want to push up in the middle of the canvas to try to keep that center, the center the way it is stretch everything else.
All right. Looks like the entire canvas is covered at the moment. The uh, torch brought up the white. I'm wondering if that's a pillow paint. That made it come up like that. Uh-oh, got paint on the shirt. That explains why it uh, blended so well down there. Mike, Terry, if you're watching this later, sorry. <laughs> If you guys don't know who Mike and Terry is with MT Homestead, you should go check them out. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description. I think we are going to... Um, Put a little wispies in here. That purple's just sinking in this white. Life with Blended and Chuck, hello. How we doing? I am making a mess. I even got it on my shirt. I think there's too much yellow down in this corner. All right, I think we're going to leave it at that. And I don't think that looks too bad. It's going to change. Oh, probably. Yeah, I can't leave well enough alone. All right, torch it one more time. We're going to call it good.
Drip your straw into the blue and blow it onto the canvas. And blow a little splatters over the yellow. Hmm. I've almost got it looking like mud in that corner, though. I don't know. I think we're just going to leave it as it is. What homestead family reclaim city? Don't lie, you want me to fall. Because it's good humor when someone falls. I know I'd laugh. All right, well, um, I guess the only thing left to do, it does tend to make mud, yes, for sure. Um, I think the only thing left to do is give you guys an overview of this, but it's going to keep changing over the next three hours. Oh, it looks like I got a chunk of something over here. Uh, probably about three hours, it's going to keep blending and morphing and doing what paint does. Do I got any more chunkies? Apparently, the black had a few chunks on it. I got them fixed. Um... And once again, for the edges of this, I am going to paint them all black. I should just leave well enough alone, correct? But all right, let's give you guys an overview and show you what it's like. That a good picture. Hopefully it turns out. Oh, thank you. Um, yes, knowing when to walk away is definitely a hard part. Um, truthfully, I'll probably come in here three or four more times in the next couple hours to nitpick and make sure there's no more chunks in it like that and like that one. As the paint settles and dries i'll find out if i got any more dried crusty stuff or sections like this right here that doesn't have any paint in it at all good thing i had some white right All right, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys haven't already and you liked what I did here, hit that thumbs up. Come back afterwards. I'm, I'm probably going to mark this private for five or six hours because it seems like YouTube ain't giving me my viewing hours right off the bat for some reason. So uh, come back a little later and 
give me a comment and um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. I appreciate you all. Remember? Oh, where are you at? Smile while you still have teeth. See you all next time.